Hi, and welcome to today's Smart Money Tip. Today, I wanna to tell you how one shift in thinking helped me to double my income. If you're a subscribe member of my community, then welcome back. And if you're not, subscribe right now so I can bring you updates and other Smart Money Tips. Several years ago, I had a shift in thinking that completely opened my eyes and changed my mind in the world of money. Now, what I'm going to share with you today is not a secret. It's just a new way of understanding the workplace. What I'm going to tell you today does not happen overnight, uh, but it can and does happen if you will change the way you think. What I'm going to share today doesn't cost you money, and I won't be asking you to buy anything at the end of this video, but I am going to ask you to think about your own life Think about the successful people that you know, and then I'm going to ask you to move in the direction of your goals. The shift in thinking that helped me double my income was when I realized that to make more money, I had to start trading value for money. Now, most people who aren't making the kind of money they want, they're stuck. And here's why. They're trading time for money, not value for money. Okay, so you go to work, you punch in, uh, your hours are multiplied by your hour hourly rate, and you get paid, right? Or maybe you agreed to a certain level of salary, and you don't get paid any higher until your job tells you that you're worthy. If you trade time for money, you will always make less money. Once I realized that people were paying me for the value I brought to their business or to our relationship, my income started to go up. I realized that as I became more valuable to my clients, I made more money. Someone I chose as a mentor in my 20s once said, if you will change, everything will change for you. That's a guy by the name of Jim Rohn. I knew I had to acquire more skills I knew I had to offer more value than what I was being paid for. To do better, you have to become better. Now, this may require you switching jobs. Maybe you need to go where your talent has more value right now. This may require getting more training at university or at a trade school. This may mean that you have to start reading like crazy, going to seminars, taking more courses in your field, but you must accumulate more skills and gain more knowledge. As you have more value to offer, you will be valued at a higher rate. So let's say that you work at a fast food place making $10 an hour. If you want to stay there, but also want to make more money, then you have to bring more value to the company. You could do that through working harder, being better with customers, uh, being more efficient with your time or seeking out a management position. But either way, you've got to add more value if you want to be valued more. Or let's say that you work at an office making $50,000 a year. What skill could you bring that would bring more customers and clients or boost the company's income? Once you solve these problems, you can go to your boss and say, hey, I bring more value, therefore I need to be paid more. Don't go asking for a pay raise until you have demonstrated that you have more value. But once you do, you won't be shot down. And if you are shot down, then you need to move where your value is appreciated. Okay, I, I hope this is making sense. Let me tell one story that I, I believe wraps it up. Okay, so I remember hearing of a manufacturing plant that suddenly had an issue with their system. Uh, they hired a specialized engineer to come in to help solve the problem. The engineer walked through the entire plant, looked over all their systems and all the different pipes that were going through the plant. After about two hours, he pulled out a chair, stood up on there, and marked a pipe with a black X. He said, if you change this pipe, your whole entire plant will come back to capacity. Later, the company got a bill from this engineer for $10,000. The manager at the plant was furious. How dare this person charge $10,000 after only doing two hours of work? The manager demanded from the engineer a breakdown on how he had come up with this $10,000 uh, amount. The engineer wrote back, $1 for my time, 
$9,999 for knowing where to put the X. I hope this helps you understand the, the principle that I'm trying to share with you. It's the value you bring to the market that makes you money, not the time you bring to the market. You have to start thinking in terms of trading your value for money and stop just trading your time. There's tons of time out there. There's lots of people with time. You need to be somebody of substance and value. Hey, if you want more, you have to become more. And if you want more value for your work, you have to work for more value to share with your clients and your customers. Hey, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it with others. And I know you at least have one family member or friend that you could share this with that would benefit from knowing how to increase their value and their income. I so appreciate you being in my community and I'll see you on the next video.